There it is. We made it. Got a little rainstorm going on, but we're still enjoying it. It's very cool. It's amazing. It is amazing just to drive up to it even. So just, this construction is the viewing area that uh, they're redoing? So we can't get quite as close, but it really it doesn't make much difference. No, I mean, see you it. see it. The most you impressive thing is actually when you drive up and you turn around a corner and you see it, you just go like, whoa. And then from there on, it's the same, whoa, a little less each time. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. but we're battling the rain and that's it I'm gonna get back to the car before we get soaked because uh, there's about two hours of rain coming and some of it's pretty heavy there's Annette she's over there protecting herself we're probably gonna get soaked in this little walk back Woohoo! that's fun this is fun times no <laughs> no, it's not worth it. But it was it was nice to see it. Well, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? Yeah. Great. Well, we kind of got rained out there at the Mount Rushmore. Uh, we were there in total about 15 minutes. But the rain was coming hard and it wasn't going to let up for about two hours. So we're out of there. But... Man, that's still impressive. Even with the rain and the construction, it's just, it's such a, an amazing thing to see in person. I'm glad we came. A little quick stop in Sturgis, but we had to stop for this thing. Can't imagine that any place in California. Pretty cool though. We are in Sturgis. So I think this is, I think this is the main drag where all this stuff happens yeah, yearly. It's gonna be. Wyoming Welcome Center, kind of fun. Huh. What is this? What kind of huckleberry tourist would get up on this thing just for a photo? like Rushmore. I guess I just thought this was in a mountainous area. <laughs> now apparently a lot of people get lost getting to Devil's Tower. So if you pull up near the monument and they see you and you look like you maybe you're a little confused or just lame, they, they send one of these cars over to, to bring you in. So we got one. I don't so, know. you're saying that you look lame. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's that's it. That's the joke. Boop, boop. Pretty awesome sight. Even from right here. Then we got some colored rock down in here as well. Oh, man. Look over there. I like it. Just an average parking lot, right? Bum, bum, bum. Being this close to it is awesome. Then we're gonna walk up this little hill right here and be even closer.
form. We know from the movie, it's the aliens put it there so they could land generations later and communicate with us, right? Via a big keyboard. Boo, 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 boo. What's the mystery? Of course, if you ever get lost, you've got a little something to guide you back. So one of the things that makes it nice to come up here and worth it is you've got this just a nice hike around the base. And then of course you've got the tower to look up at, all the views as you go along. It's just very pretty. And yeah. Not a lot of climbing, just a beautiful walk through the woods. Only to the yellow line. To the yellow line up there. Up there? So, there is a, like a, a, a photograph with a yellow line on it saying how far you can go up the mountain. And everybody is confused. They think there's a big yellow line up there in the rocks. It's pretty funny. So we just really enjoyed this stop. It is so worth it. And when you drive up, you know, you get a really good shot of the tower. And we were kind of thinking, you know, we got really good photos. That's nice. Maybe we won't pay the 25 bucks and come in. And uh, I'm so glad we did. It's beautiful up here. And there's a nice, easy trail around the base of it. And it's, a, it's just a really nice walk, even by itself, in the woods. And all the awesome views you can get around the base. Yeah. and seeing all the rocks and all everyone's climbing on them and everything it was just a, a really good time yeah and that there's a little lookout point with a gorgeous view of the entire area as yeah. far as the eyes can see out to the valley that was nice gorgeous view well worth it This little scenic route here was definitely worth it coming off on the side. It's a little tiny sign. I don't think most people see it and it's dirt, so they probably don't come this way, but the road less traveled, often worth it. That's the best view we have. That is the best view. This is a pretty good view too. <laughs> I thought you were getting I, I am. I just did it's bad camera work. <laughs> That's all. There she is, isn't she gorgeous? She's gorgeous. You can, you can hear the little prairie dogs. And this guy's out there taking photos of them, but they're popping their little heads up. I'm sure in the video you won't be able to see it, but they're all through these fields. Do not feed them, honey. It says right here, don't feed them. I will see how close I can get to him. He's looking at me. I'm getting closer. Oh, he hasn't sounded an alarm yet, but he's wagging his little tail. Oh, that's the alarm. And down he goes. <laughs> oh. rock formations here just a little bit outside of Casper 22 miles so we pulled into the National Historic Trails Interpretive Center so these are the four trails the Oregon Trail the California Trail the Pony Express Trail and the Mormon Trail so four different trails all went through this approximate location. And that is the city of Casper all down there. It's the Welcome Center and Scenic Overlook. Not that scenic, but you know. So this is pretty neat in here. This is their main room. Set up like an auditorium. Wow, there's the whole 
wagon train coming. <laughs> that is cool, but this kid looks like she's got her hand in like, Papa, I just want a dollar for a Coke. <laughs> Delicious. I get that. She's a little too close to those horns for my... Oh, do not hit him. Do not hit him with a stick. And mom gets to bring up the rear. Literally. Did you, did you just pet it? Ooh. This cooking up a nice cozy dinner here by the fireplace. Nothing, nothing could go wrong, right? Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Trouble on the prairie. Maybe it's a pet. <laughs> they don't seem to mind. So they have these neat little information uh, poles here on the side of this display. Well, that's a, a nice idea. Okay, bread and bacon. What's for dinner? Bread and bacon? Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. Book, 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 book. What you guys cooking up? Do I get some? Book, 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 book. No, it's going to be you. Of course, they might have brought that along for the eggs, so. They probably would. They probably wouldn't eat it until <laughs> near the end of the trip. Maybe. Uh oh. Someone had some bad chicken. <laughs> this whole little note here is from an actual guy on one of the trails, talking about how much he literally hates <laughs> these mules. Uh, it's pretty funny. He hates them. In fact, the last sentence is. How I hate them. <laughs> so these here are funny. These are basically all complaints. So this one is saying it's just an ugly country, nothing to look about, look at. This is talking about how you don't get along with people on the trail and specifically talking about another family trying to sing really badly. And then the other one about the guy who hates mules. That's a crack up. I don't mean any disrespect to them for they did their best, but it was somewhat unpleasant to say the least of it. <laughs> <laughs> they all sang in different pitches. Oh, funny. So they got some kind of little show in here. We're going to check it out. All right, people, let's get this coach loaded. We got to get back on the road. People, come this way, please. Let's uh, get this team hitched up. We I'm are already scheduled in there. to keep. Yeah, we're, Francis, we're waiting for you. Come on now. Waiting for you, bud. There we go. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good luck. Hope you don't die of cholera. That's what most of the deaths were from on the trail. Cholera. You can place them under the center seat. All right. Wagon's really moving. Oh wait, maybe she just has her headphones on. Listen to some music. Oh yeah. Everybody's copping a bit of an attitude, seems like to me. Oh, Granny. Granny's not happy with me. I like this group here. I particularly like the look on this guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're all squinting though. The sun, <laughs> sun must have been bright that day. What? No, he's he's not squinting. No problem. Um, we met these two on the right <laughs> over there. They were squinting then. They're squinting now. Keep going. Only 500 more miles. Good place. I'm in a good place. Do this for long. We're pulling a hundred pounds of supplies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, it's my old buddy, Sassy Boy. But this time he switched to a new family. <laughs> Probably the old family kicked him out. He's too sassy. Look at it's another interactive display. This is all pretty cool. 
not quite Star Tours, but you know, close. I don't, I don't so much like the view, but that's what they had to put up with. <laughs> gotta get out of the way, cattle gotta go. Uh, you press the different people and different routes light up to show the different trails that were taken and it has a story of an individual down there. That's kind of neat too. Lots of neat stuff. You cannot return that book. It is two weeks overdue. Come on, it's time to start the show. Got a nice film playing in there. We couldn't be bothered to watch it though, but it looks good. <laughs> You know, we didn't really have high expectations of that. I thought it might be like kind of nature center, you know, kind of thing. But it was really well done. Well, as you've just so seen. So impressive. Very impressed. We're taking some of those ideas back home and share them. Highly recommend it. Yeah, and free too, no, no cost. We put a little donation in, but you don't have to pay anything to see it. Okay. What? I want to see the teepee. She, she wants to see the teepee. I learned that it takes 10 to 15 buffalo to make a teepee. Wow. I imagine they'd get in each other's way as they're trying to build it. <laughs> oh. uh, good. But as the herd grows, so tensions rise. No, 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 no. This is trying to help. Okay. We just saw all kinds of cool things in there. It's been a good amount of time. But we're walking way over here to see this one lone teepee. Yeah, and that too. I mean, that's a neat display outside, too. <laughs> it's, all uh, it's all fascinating. Everything Look, is fascinating. We can, walk right up to this. we can walk up to this teepee. I am fascinated. I don't think this is buffalo skin. <laughs> no, that's not buffalo skin. Well, um, lady, your your teepee looks a little askew. Uh, what happened to your man? So this is a replica of a Pony Express stop. Is what they say. See, they got a little supply of wood out the back. This looks more like uh, low, like for parking cars. Maybe they back, back the wagon in. Go back, go back, all right now. Easy on the clutch. Now, cut the wheel. Cut it, cut it, cut it. That's it. Huh. Let's see if anybody's, anybody's to home. Mr. Express? Well, not much privacy. Can I help you? That's the Garrison Pony Express. What? I, I'm sorry. What? Can we're I just help you? we're just wondering if there's anyone to home. Would you like to mail something? Five no. Dollars, half an ounce. No, I'm just looking to rustle up some vittles. Sorry, we're we'll closing. Do you you don't have any vittles? No, not today. Just maybe some for my cat. Yeah. Ma'am. XP. Are you XP? We have water. Oh. Do you like some water? Well, that's very modern industrial of you to have in here. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Hampton Inn. Looking forward to breakfast. <laughs>